Good day, grade 1. Today, we're going to have a lesson that will surely be very helpful for you. And the title of our lesson is Reading and Writing Numbers from 0 to 100. And now, let's recall some things. So when we count, we can use things like blocks, especially if it is more than 10. And remember that if we have one unit, it is counted as one block. Now, if we have 10 blocks, then it's called one rod. And if we have 100 blocks, it's called one flat. Now, we may read and write numbers this way. So, we have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then, we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and 19. Now, we may also use the skip counting by tens to make writing and reading numbers easier for us. So, we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. Now, for example, we have the number 20 and then we have number 6. So, we have 20 and 6 together, we'll have 26. Again, for example, we are going to write 57, so we have 50 and 7, so we will have 57. Now, these are the numbers that we need to remember when we read and write them, especially their correct spelling. So, we have here 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, and 29. And as you notice, my dear grade 1, that there's a dash between the number 20 and 1. So always remember to put a dash whenever you are writing numbers from the skip counting by 10 and the numbers from 1 to 9. So just like what we have here from 21 up to 29. The same goes with the other numbers like 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, and 39. Now we have 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49. Then 50. 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. Then we have 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. Then we have 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79. Then we have 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. And 90. 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, and 99. And then, of course, 100. There. That's how we spell 100. Now, we can also use our pattern in skip counting by 10, just like what I told you to make it easier for us to read and write numbers in their number words. So, for example, we have 10 and 4, it is 14 or 14. Then we have 20 and 7, so this is the number symbol for 27, and this is the number word for 27. And, of course, 30 and 6 is 36, or the number word 36. Now, we can read and write numbers both in symbols and in words. Keep in mind also that we can also use our pattern in skip counting by 10 to make it easier for us to read and write numbers in their number words. Good job, my dear grade 1! Now you already know how to read and write numbers from 0 to 100. Good job!